Good morning, everybody. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to talk about how to help you guys grow your business today. Uh, it's a big thing. Make it outlandish. It is. It's pretty ridiculous. I can't be uh, with the mustache. So the problem is I can't be close. I think it's within 200 yards of a school, I believe. Oh, Mark, I called. It was three hours. They need my phone the three places I called. Anyways, I'll go back to it. Okay. So for those of you, a couple things. First thing. If you guys want to invite a friend to our coaching, it's how we grow. Uh, I'm going to be putting in there uh, for you to invite a friend. And then I'm going to be asking you guys to follow me on YouTube because a lot of this stuff, if you miss it, is actually going to be on YouTube. Uh, that's probably true, Mark. Actually, I never thought of that. Okay. Give me one second. All right. So you guys have on YouTube. Okay. So there's still a bunch of people. It's all right. I'm going to kind of get started here right now. Now, what I want you guys to do is... I want every person in here because I'm going to be talking about how to basically accomplish your goals of sales with different tactics. Uh, Cause a lot of people honestly don't do anything. Yeah. Brent, go ahead. Uh, feel free. Absolutely. Um, feel free to invite anybody. I don't even care. If, I don't even care if they're not in real estate. I will post this for some people. Um, again, if you guys want to invite a friend, hold on, we're going to do this. There we go. So yeah, Brent, invite anybody you want. I just posted in there if you guys want to invite a friend. I think it's just name and email is all we ask for so they can get the notifications. So what I want everybody to ask, because it's already uh, the end of March, so the first quarter is already done of the year, which is absolutely fucking crazy, is how many deals did you do last year? And then how many deals do you want to do this year? So I'm going to wait about three or four minutes because it takes a long time. So everybody that's on this call, there's going to be a lot of messages, which is fantastic. It's how many deals did you do in 2021 and how, what was your goal for 2022? And if you haven't set out a goal, set one out right now. How many you did last year? How many you're going to do this year? I'm going to wait a couple of minutes for people to answer. So uh, feel free to, to put in your responses. How many deals you did last year? How many deals you want to do this year? So it's like, for example, I did 1,250 last year. This year I want to do 2,000. I want it to look like that. Okay, Crystal, 27 to 50, that's great. 10 last year, 15 this year, that's great. 55, 110, 29, 56 for Robert. Mike, 50, then 70. Angela would like to do 25 her first deal. Targeting 30 deals this year. Uncle Don, you still didn't suggest whether or not I keep my mustache. Uh, Courtney, two and 12, four last year and 20. Just starting 20 this year, all right. It's all right for the new agents, no problem. What your goal is for this year. Kathleen, Carly, all right, these are some good answers, but there's still tons of people on here that aren't answering me. One then 25, Shelby, okay. Did 13, want to do 40. Don, of course you love the stash. You had one of these whenever you basically helped raise my stupid ass. Uh, I need your Camaro though, Don, if you still have that yellow Camaro, I got to keep that if I'm going to rock this mustache, uh, 30 deals this year, zero new agent, 55 in 2022, Mason. All right. Oh, Mason trying to beat his wife. Uh, new agent 20 two last year, 25 this year. Okay, great. So I have quite a few answers. Mark wants to do 20. All right. That sounds pathetic, but I love you, Mark. You mean 20 a day, I believe, Mark. Cause sorry, you forgot to put that. I uh, did 11, but goal is 22. All right, Joanne, that's good. <laughs> the Camaro is available. Uncle Don, better be free because that thing probably sucks. Okay. So, <laughs> 10 to 30 and lose the stash. <laughs> I agree. Got licensed last year. Still trying to make my first. Keep the stash. Okay. See, I'm getting some love and some hate. I will not be have the stash after this. I was actually going to shave it before. So, 55 last year, 110. Dave, what's up, man? 110 this year. You definitely have the superpowers to do it. I'm surprised you haven't done 110 already this year, to be honest with you, Dave. Okay. So here's the thing. Whenever it comes to doing these deals and, uh, and different stuff, I'm going to break it down. Some of it's stuff we've already talked about. Here's a frustrating thing about being a real estate coach. There's many fucking frustrating things. One, the pay sucks because uh, I don't get paid for many of you. So that sucks. So that's the first thing. All kidding aside. Two is when people don't do the shit. Like I had somebody that reached out to me, not going to mention names. It's like, oh my God, 
I haven't sold a house yet, blah, blah, blah. It's been six months. And I'm like, great. Which one of our strategies have you tried? The answer was zero. I'm going to save you guys from guessing. This individual had not even tried any of the stuff that we were doing. There's been a few people this week that are like, oh my God, I need help. Okay, well, what have you tried of ours that we keep teaching? None of it. Well, yeah, fuck. If you haven't tried any of it, guess what? You're probably not going to be good at it. So I think that's a big part of it is like 80% of agents suck. And that means that if there's 300 people on here, 240 of you are dog shit. That's the honest truth. And if that offends you, good, because you probably suck. So today's a little bit of a reality check. Uh, I'm a little bit hungover and I'm not in the mood for people's shit today. And I talked about brand new agents for, for about an hour yesterday and they fucking drove me crazy. So here's the end of the day and here's the God's honest truth. It's because you're not setting a path. You're not choosing to do things in most cases. And again, if this offends you, that's fantastic because it probably is you. That's probably literally you if this offends you. Because if somebody's like, you're terrible at your job and 80% of agents suck, I wouldn't offend me because I know I'm not that person. So if any of this offends you, this is actually for you, just so you know. So Uncle Don, probably you, just because I'm picking on you a lot today, um, is I'm going to break it down into different things you can do and how simple it actually is to make money. Although most of you are too lazy to do it. I'm still going to do this because it's my show and I get to do an hour of whatever I want. Bear with me one minute. And I'm going to break down. Um, I'm going to break down the different things that we're doing. Uh, I'm going to break down the things that you can do to make money, and then I'm gonna, we have a calculator to show how much revenue it's going to be. We have different tasks and everything. So this is going to be one of my favorite things to do. So make sure you guys hang around. Uh, give us give us thirty seconds. Shane's going to log in here right now. It's really good. So yeah, okay, that's good. There's a lot of you guys that didn't answer though. So. For those of you that just came on, there's a, there's a ton of people that just came on the last few minutes. So what I did is if you haven't answered, basically I want you guys, if you haven't answered, please be honest and answer because it helps me out because I'm looking through the, the ratings right now is how many deals did you do last year? How many deals did you do this year? And there's about 50 or 60 that came on the last five minutes. And do I ditch the mustache for the real ones? While we wait for Shane to come on, those are the questions. How many deals did you, if you haven't answered, how many deals did you last year? How many deals do you want to do this year? And do I ditch the mustache? Those are the questions for those of you that are joining us a little bit late. Brent. Good morning to you, Brent, sort of. Oh, oh Lisa's texting me. Keep the stash. Just make sure. Oh, make mustache ride jokes to your wife. Obviously, Lisa. I love that. Thank you for that. Um, keep it. Tyler says, keep it. Tyler, you're gross. That's no way. Four years done this year. Kate, seven, 25 mustache has to go. Love it. Keep the stash. Five deals. One, at least 15. Okay. John 10, three. And yes, no deals last year. Hoping to do 20 plus this year. Ali four and 16 ditch it in the nicest way possible. No, I can handle this. Are you kidding me? It's amazing. Heather 17 and 30. Rishi, 70, 20 steals to target 100. Six last year. I want to do 20 this year. And hell yeah, on the stash. See, the stash is getting some love. My man. Couldn't find my hat. <laughs> no, you're good. Three deals this year, two, none this year. About 20 last year. I want to do 40K. Love it. We love the stash. Joel, you would too. You sick, sick fuck. First 45 house goal. The stash looks good on you. That's from another man who has a stash. I love it. Yeah, it won't let me uh, share my screen. I don't know if you can do it. Oh, you can. I can't. That's amazing. All you did was just click screen share, right? That's it, yeah. I did the same thing, but it asked me a question before. I think I answered wrong. <laughs> you didn't answer the question right. <laughs> yeah, so there was a 50-50 chance I answered it wrong because it asked me for <laughs> your screen. No worries, no worries. What, what I can do then is I'll just... Um... I'll step through uh, right. just as you're talking. So just let me know when you want me to switch things and I can type stuff out for you and we can do that. And okay, let, let me, me just, uh, let me just make sure I can't do it now. Is me that me now? My camera. Or is that you sharing? That's still, that's still right? me. Uh, well, here, let me turn it off and you can try. Okay, yeah. Let me just, let Go me ahead. just see for some reason now that you came in, if I can do it. Negative. No. Okay, cool. 
Nope. So I'll just turn off my camera. I'll leave okay. my uh, audio on, and then uh, I'll go ahead and share my screen. Okay, share. And let me just grab the worksheet. Can you see the worksheet? Yep. Okay, perfect. So I'll just uh, try to navigate as you're talking. Okay, that's and we can just you can honestly just leave it there until um, and then I'll go to the the spreadsheet after. So. Sure. For those of you that literally want to do, and I'm going to ask this because I want to know, for those of you that want to up your conversions and up how many deals you do, I want some answers. How are you going to do it? Like, seriously, how are you going to do it? How are you going to go from 15 to 30 or 20 to 50? I, I What I'm going to try to get is most people don't have a path on what to do. And I'm going to show you a path of stuff that I've taught in the past and how easy it is because I'm sick and tired of fucking people bitching that they're not doing enough deals yet I teach something every Tuesday and they don't implement it. So I'm going over some material that we've done and I'm going to do it. All right. Kay says social media. All right. Social media, what I don't like about social media. See, that I like. Prospecting the phone daily, YouTube. The whole things are okay. Um, This thing is, this has got to go. It's so itchy. I don't know how you guys fucking do it if you have a mustache. I'm working on consistency, digital marketing and follow-up. Okay, that's good. Those are like good answers. The reason why, Kay, I don't like social media is because it's not in your control. I like it being a part of it. It can't be, in my opinion, the only way to do it. So I got social media, working database, database, retirement homes, divorce lawyers. All right, Uncle Don, those are some good answers that I like. Social media, reaching out to past clients and calling, that's good. Okay, Sergey again, FISBO expired, absentee owners, great. Combination of Facebook, retirement, my community, fantastic. Rishi talking to my database, that's great. Running a fundraiser, calling landlords, working my sphere, go back to the list. So again, a lot of these are great answers. Uh, you know, they really are. So I'm going to be going over basically how that looks and how you guys can do it. And actually how simple it is, because I believe when you teach people something that sometimes, you know, a lot of you guys forget and you don't realize how simple it is. So I'm going to talk about some of the things we are, and, and it is repetitive for the people that have been doing this, but I just want to show how simple this can be for you to accomplish your goals yeah, most of you won't fucking do it anyways, but it's every Tuesday, it's like talking to, I don't know, children because they don't listen, but whatever. So getting listings from landlords. So for those of you that want to learn some of this stuff, uh, at the end, I'm going to talk about our coaching for some of the new people is, you know, and, and then for everybody on here, like if you look at uh, Angela's on here, Angela, I hope everything is going well. I met her uh, a little while ago. That's fantastic. But a lot of people that are on here, I've talked to a few of you, honestly, like Tyler, Angela, Lisa, um, Paul. There, there's a lot of you guys on here that I've spoken to that truthfully, you guys, I don't know if you've taken it. I haven't talked to a lot of you since. So I'm going to go one by one, step by step. I'm going to talk about these things. Actually, I'm going to write notes here. And then I'm going to go to the, I'm going to go to the spreadsheet and show you how simple this is. And a lot of people won't do it. Like I keep saying, okay. So getting listings from landlords. I know a lot of you have known that. Uh, and what I'm going to go over very briefly, very quickly for the people that, that don't know what it is. Basically what you're doing is you're calling somebody that's on a rental website. That's not represented by a realtor. And you're asking them basically if they want to sell the home. Now, what the advantage of this is, is that if they're a, they're a landlord, right? So there's a lot of times that landlords sit there and they have shitty tenants or they want out of it, or they don't even know how much their place is worth. Some people think their place is worth 500 and it's worth 800 because they're just not, they don't have a pulse on the real estate industry. So what you want to do is you want to go in there and you want to call, again, again, landlords, anything that's landlord related. What I love about this is that everything, I'm most of the stuff I'm teaching you here, not every single one, but most of the stuff with consistency will bring results. And then this is like how you could actually build a roadmap to your life for how many deals you want to do. So again, getting listing from landlords. Okay. What the idea is you call somebody that has a place for rent. Here's the best part. You get to ask them many questions, ask them if they want to sell that house. And if they say no, ask them if they have another home they want to sell. Then you can ask them if they want to buy another revenue property because they're already landlords. Maybe they have equity in there and they want to buy another one. Or if they know anybody else that wants to buy a property. 
So think about this. You have four opportunities for business when you call a landlord. Do you have a house to sell? Or do you want to sell this house, another house? Do you want to buy another rental property? Or would you like to, or do you know anybody else that would? Now, who thinks they could do this for an hour a day? Now, I know that you won't do it, but who thinks they could potentially do it? And I'm going to show you and break this down. Who thinks that they could do this for an hour a day, just calling landlords and asking those four questions? Do you want to sell your house? Do you have another one you want to sell? Do you want to buy one? And then do you know anybody else? That's it. I can, I can. So Gabrielle, Alex, Monica, Shelby, Carly, all these people on here. Kay, Chris Liddell, Chris Liddell, you sneaky bastard. I did not know you're on here. Elaine, okay, so most people think they could. That's fantastic. Okay. Dawn, yes, it's doable. Now, the truth is, whenever I was doing this, I was getting quite a few. So this is one of the things that I'm going to show you guys what to do. Uh, where would I want to look for landlords? Most of our rentals, area listings are rental. Yeah. So Crystal, you just want to find a website or someplace. There's tons of websites locally. Craigslist, Kijiji, whatever you want to look. You want to find something, basically. Um, find some, uh, Just find a website or find a place where you can get that information. So there's a lot of people on here that said yes. Okay, fantastic. So Shane... Actually, I'm going to get you to go. I'm just going to talk about, I'm going to pick four or five of the major ones. Now, if you can make a call for one hour a week, or sorry, one hour a day, I believe the worst case scenario is you get a listing every two months. You should get a listing every month. I'm going to break this fucking down for you the simplest way possible. So Shane, can you go to the spreadsheet now and just put in uh, uh, half a deal a month? So what I did here is we picked very average homes, okay? Look at Scott, just did this. 300 calls, 27 contacts, four listing appointments. Scott, my man, there you go. So call for an hour and then 0.5, there you go. So we're gonna do a calculation based on a $300,000 sales price and your average commission being 2.5%, okay? So that's what we're gonna do this on. So there's one. All right, let's go back, Shane. Now, here's the thing. Social media is going to be, it can be very, very difficult, okay? What I don't like about social media is you're not in control. That's not that I like being in control. You can ask my wife. That actually is might be a bedroom question too, which is hilarious. But anyways, if you think about this, is it's like, I want to know how many deals I can do. And I want to be in control of how many deals I can do. What I don't like about social media is that most cases, you don't know how many deals you're going to do from it. So I think it's a piece of it and I think it's, it's a must. So if you look at like social media, on social media, you should be posting your wins, posting your successes, all that stuff you should be posting literally, literally all the time, okay? All the time you should be posting on social media. We have a strategy and I'm not gonna get into these strategies uh, this week. Uh, I'm just showing you guys how simple this can be because a lot of people are asking me what to do and all this stuff. So I'm breaking it down very, very simply. And then I'm going to talk in the end how you can have a coach that will help you through this for free. So post wins and successes. Now we have free leads from Facebook marketplace. Okay. So we have a training that you can get leads from marketplace and Joel, I think it was last week had 10 in one day, 10 leads in a day. So this can get you a shit ton of leads, tons and tons of leads. Then your Facebook groups and then YouTube alone. So here's a crazy thing. We have a training that's going to be coming up. Make sure you don't miss it for Levi, who's going to be on here. And it's our, um, he does YouTube. Now, him and his business partner, Travis, do YouTube. They made $1.1 million from their YouTube channel last year alone. Brand new agents. They started a YouTube channel called Living in Dallas. If you want to check it up, it's called Living in Dallas. And on that note, speaking of YouTube, I'm actually going to get you guys to follow me. So for you guys, follow me on YouTube because uh, a lot of stuff is going to be on here. So make sure make sure you follow me on YouTube and everything that we're doing. Please hold. There you go. That's my YouTube channel. So again, social media, everything you're doing in here, whether you're posting regularly, again, there's training for all of this. Stay tuned to the end. We're going to talk about how you can get on a call and we're going to show you how to do this. So 
Free leads from Facebook Marketplace. Again, it's free. Here's the thing. Everybody wants to go to a team, right? And I have 40 people now on my team, maybe even 50. I have no idea how many people I have on my team. So if you look at it, every single fucking person on here is like, oh, maybe I go to a team. Why? Because they give you leads. Because people think that leads are going to change their lives. That, oh my God, internet leads are going to save me. The best people in the world convert internet leads like that aren't YouTube leads. So disclaimer, because they're naturally coming to you. But if you just have a, a funnel going, the top people close at 2%. 2% or 3%. So three out of 100 leads you'll close for internet leads. Why would you go to a team to waste your time 97% of the time? That's what I want to ask you. The strategies we teach are still how to get leads, but you got to convert them. Exactly, Kay. That's correct. So if you look at this, again, free leads from Facebook Marketplace. You have Facebook groups and YouTube. Now, what I love about Marketplace, and this is what I'm going to go into because the other stuff is very, very confusing, is we have a training for that. If you post in Facebook Marketplace every single day, our strategy, Shane, can you go to the next one? You can easily sell one house a month from these Facebook leads, doing Facebook leads on, uh, from Facebook Marketplace, okay? And I would say you probably have to call for an hour a day too, Shane. At least for the proper follow-up, but let's do that. And you can do a deal a month from this all day. Okay, perfect. Now let's go back to the next one. Again, you can do YouTube, you can do Facebook groups, you can do post your wins on social media. So actually, Shane, uh, no, leave it there. Leave it there. That's fine. It's, it just gets to be too complicated. So I'm only going to pick a few of these to put on. Now, grow your database and nurture your sphere. We have training on this. So honestly, there's hundreds of you on here right now. Whoever's honest enough, and Uncle Don, I'm going to call you out because I don't know if you've done your top 100, 200 list yet, is have, if you're sitting there, uh, make actual posts in the marketplace. Yes. So De Niro, Brent, for those of you guys that want, I'm not going to go over that. I'll go over it in the, in the next few weeks. I'm basically showing you guys how, if you have the right path, you can do it. Basically, you post on marketplace. It's like, Tell me how much your monthly rent is and I'll show you what you can buy. That's basically it. I'm not sure, Faisal, if you can't hear me. Um, everybody else, I'm assuming, can. Otherwise, I get, I'd do it. Done. Uncle Don. See, there's a, there's a guy that gets it. So my Uncle Don, I told him he's a brand new realtor. Uh, he, he joined our group and I told him to put his top 300. So this is, a great, this is a great way to do this right now. So Don did his top 300 agents, or sorry, 300 people that he's going to talk to in his sphere. Now, a lot of you are like, well, I don't have 300. Get 50, get 100. It's not rocket science. What you want to do is you basically want to come in and you want to have your top 100 to 200, 300 people, however many you have. Basically, look through your phone, go through Facebook, and anybody who knew you, if you called them that was in the area you'd sell them a house, you're going to follow up with them every month on the phone or every two months on the phone, but keep mailing them. You want to have about 15 touch points. Now, one of our coaches does 30 deals a year just from a 200-person sphere. So I'm going to break this down for you. Let's say Don has 300. Let's say you only have 100. Let's say you, you create a list on a Google spreadsheet of your top 100 people that just know who you are. Now, I firmly believe easily if, if, he, did a three, if he did 30 deals from, from 200, let's say you cut in half to 100, and let's say you even do half the deals. You can do one deal every two months from this if you're following up your sphere properly. So Shane, let's do that. Let's say it's an hour a day. Not even, it's not even, but let's just say it's an hour a day. That's fine. And then I'd say do half. Yeah, do one every six months. Or, or sorry, one every two months. It's perfect. Okay, perfect. Now, one of our favorite ones that a lot of people, we've taught this before, we still don't do it, is basically working with retirement communities. Now, working with retirement communities or assisted living facilities is a fucking gold mine. Um, normally, they're 80 or 90 years old. They're checking into a facility. 
and they have to sell their home because it's like three to ten thousand dollars or whatever is a month to stay there so imagine if you used our retirement thing and for those of you who don't understand it go check it out on my youtube channel uh, i think i believe it's on there so i'm not going to explain how to do this because that's not the purpose of this exercise today but imagine if you went with retirement communities okay you go to retirement communities and let's say that you have five let's just say that you have five retirement communities that you work with which isn't tough like you can get 15 but let's say you have five retirement communities to work with and then let's say that each of them send you one listing a quarter that's not very much that's only one listing a quarter so every week let's say from thursday from noon till five every thursday noon to five or every second thursday you go visit these people to gain rapport with them so again five retirement communities you're going to and they're only sending you one every three months so shane let's go back to the other one No, once a week. Or at least once a week every two hours. So I'd say it's five hours a week. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah. And then you you should be able to do uh, one and a half deals a month from this. Did you say one and a half or yeah. one every quarter? One and a half is good. Because you should be able, if you're working with five and they give you one a quarter, that's 20 deals. So you should be able to get eight. This is this says 18 deals. That's good. So then there's working with builders, which I'm going to go over. You know, it, it's tougher, but you can work with builders. That's a lot of things we do. Like, We've sold over a thousand units this year, working with builders, working with builders is a big one. Um, so you can have that in there if you want. I'm not gonna go over it too much. Divorce lawyers is a big one. So find divorce lawyers or probate lawyers and partner up with them. So imagine if you found 10 divorce lawyers and what you do is you work with, and then I'll, I'll we'll do open houses too. So I'm gonna make this a simple thing. I just wanna show you guys a, literally a clear cut path and we have we have like 15 more things that we teach. I just wanted to make this as simple as possible to quickly show people how to do it. So now you go in, okay? And let's do, um, so divorce lawyers. Basically, I, you know, there's a lot of people that work with divorce lawyers. Now, the best part about divorce lawyers is it's, a lot of times it can be a sell and a buy-buy situation. You can get three deals from divorce lawyers. Now, in Alberta, where I'm from, you can offer a 25% referral. Okay, that's legal where we're from. I realize it's not like that in the United States in most of the states. However, you can pay for their marketing. So what I would do if I were you is uh, if, if, I, if I were you, I'd go in, Google divorce lawyer, find people that are at the top because they're paying to be at the top in most cases. So you know they have a budget for it. You simply call a divorce lawyer, tell them you have business that you can refer to them. You sit down. Basically, you just tell them you're going to pay for the marketing. Again, I'm not going to go over all these strategies today. They're, they are on my YouTube channel. So again, I'll post it in there again. If you guys want to learn some of the stuff, go follow me on YouTube uh, and get keep getting the, the notifications every time we put out a new video, which is a couple times a week, uh, maybe one or two a week. So now what you want to do is with these divorce lawyers, you basically partner up with them. So you want to go and take the time and talk to 10 different divorce lawyers, okay? So now you're maintaining 10 relationships. What I like about divorce lawyers, what I like about retirement communities, what I like about these is it's a constant, constant, constant flow of people. Gennaro, I don't even know if I've done one. I haven't talked about divorce lawyers in a long time. That might've been before my YouTube channel. So maybe I'll, um, maybe I'll actually do one, Shane. If you wanna make a note to talk about, uh, the, the, I remember we did one a long time ago, the top ways to get listings. So. And that was one of them. So I don't know if it's on there, but I will be doing it. I'll do I'll do one in the next little bit. So let's say you get again, you get you get ten divorce lawyers, okay? And what I'm trying to show you guys is the power of knowing a small group of people that can literally refer you a ton of business. So if you know ten divorce lawyers, let's just say five, just five. Let's just say five divorce lawyers. That's it. Let's just make it very very simple. And those five divorce lawyers give you one deal every six months. 
That's not absurd. It's one deal every six months. So let's use divorce lawyers for the next one, Shane. Uh, I'd say you call them. I'd say you call them every two weeks or send them an email. And I say that that would take you one hour a week, maybe. And then I'd say that if there's five of them, you should be able to do, say, one deal a month is safe. Okay. Here's what's fucked up about what I just showed you guys. Seriously. And then we'll move on to talk about the coaching. You can go to the other one, Shane. This other stuff is fine. We're uh, It's already 1140. The reason why I wanted to do this is to tell most of you that you suck is actually why I did this. I'm really ornery the last couple of days is to tell most of you that you suck or you don't know what to do, or I don't know what excuse you have. So here's five different things. Okay. Now I want you to put this into perspective. And if anybody wants to challenge me on it, go ahead. I've done all this stuff calling landlords. So that's one hour a day. Okay. One hour a day. So I'm going to add that up. That's five hours a week. Okay. That you're prospecting social media. Um, posting in Facebook Marketplace, that's five hours a week also, okay? Growing your sphere and database, that's another five hours a week. So that's fine. Uh, yeah, if you want yeah, to put that, Shane, that'd be fantastic. So then, okay, yeah, so calling landlords is five. Social media is five. Uh, grow your sphere and database is five. Uh, retirement community is five and then divorce lawyers is probably one. So you have to have time for showing you have to have time for everything. So here's a crazy thing. These five things can make you money. And if you do them consistently every day, here's a fucking roadmap on how to make $405,000. If your average sales price is 300,000. Now, if it's more than that, fantastic. You're just making more money. So Shane, let's put that to 500,000 medium home price for fun. Is that good? Most of you won't do this because most of you suck. And again, if this offends you, it's probably because you suck. So if you look at this, right? Like this is what I'm asking you fucking clowns to do is literally, I need you guys to put in 21 hours of work a week. That's it. I'm not asking you to put in eighties or nineties or hundreds like I do. Put in 21, 21 hours, okay? And then let's say, and these are conservative. That's calling landlords. You're only getting, like, let's replay this. You're only getting one deal every six months. Angela, at least you admit it. I love you for that. You're automatically in my good books. So if you look at this, okay? That's one deal every two months. That's not crazy. Like, I'm not saying you're selling four or five or six or seven a month. That's one deal every two months truthfully, you could do one a month from this. So you look at this social media, one deal a month. That's not crazy. And that's through Facebook marketplace. You're getting two or 300 leads a month in most cities. Okay. Grow your database. That's only one every that's grow. Your database is what I only have six a year. That's nothing. So that's from your database. You only do six by following up retirement communities. You're doing one and a half a month. Again, here's the, Here's the truth after six months, truthfully, after six months, if you did this, Shane, this is what it actually would be if you were consistent doing this every week for six months. Uh, okay, look at it. Calling landlord, Shane, realistically, you should be doing at least one a month. So let's, let's change this. So there's one a month, okay? Then you look at social media. Leave that at one a month. That's fine. Your database and sphere should be one a month. If you're doing it properly, retirement communities is actually probably two a month because you should actually, instead of having five at 10 and divorce lawyers, you should have two a month. <coughs> this is actually what it should be. Okay. This is what you actually should be doing. If you do this every six months, I literally just fucking in 44 minutes, give you a fucking roadmap on how to make a million dollars. Yet most of you aren't going to do it, which is fine. I don't give a shit. It doesn't affect my life. But also why a lot of you won't do it, truthfully, is because median home price, whatever, I, I have 500000 
It might be. Shane's not a real estate agent, so don't worry about it. It's medium if you're uh, if you're Shane. But yes, it is. So let's bring this now down to three hundred thousand. Okay, let's go worst case scenario. Shane, can you bring that down to three hundred grand? And then take the total deals per year and just make it uh, go. Just do half. Do like 0. 0.5 for all of these. Okay. Okay, so here's the thing. I showed you a way where it could be a million dollars. If you totally fucking suck at this, suck at it and barely do it, there's still a roadmap here to do 30 deals. Most of your goals, most of you wanted to do about 20 to 30. Here's a map. Here's a roadmap. Some fucking hungover, mustache looking motherfucker in 45 minutes showed you guys how to do 30 deals in a year. So ask yourself why you're not going to do it. Now, some of you are new on here and are probably blown away by my awesomeness, which I understand, but there's a lot of people here that are used to me by now is the thing that's challenging is maybe you don't have somebody to come in um, and help. You know, maybe you don't have somebody that's, that's going to coach you. Um, I don't know. Maybe you don't have any of that stuff. So I think it's it, see. So then see what I like about, John, so if that's John, if you're afraid of rejection, John, I actually, I'm going to ask, John, if you're willing to be vulnerable. Okay, John, are you married? I'm going to ask John if he's married. So if you're there, John, are you married? Mustache looking mother, I know, right? I'm pretty hilarious. I think one of my favorite things about being a real estate coach is that I have like a lot of people that, John, you are married. John, when you asked your wife to, when you asked your wife the first time, and here's, here, I'm, I'm proving a point here. So when you ask your wife out, obviously you have to, unless you started, unless it was an arranged marriage, which I'm going to assume it's not, you had to go and ask your, then at the time you wanted her to be your girlfriend. You probably had to go ask her out or at some point ask her out. And you probably were afraid of getting rejected. Now I'm going to assume you're happy in your marriage and it's none of my business if you're not. The point of the story is everybody's a fucking afraid of rejection. Every single person is afraid of rejection. I'm not afraid of it anymore because I built that muscle. At first, was I? Probably. But the truth is you've got to build up that muscle. You've got to build it. Rejection's like it's 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 fine. It, nothing's going to happen. Nobody's ever died from rejection. So, John, get it out of your head and just fucking call. That's the biggest thing. So... For those of you, and I wish I could share my screen, Shane, are you able to share the, the coaching thing? I'm going to email it to you, Shane, to make it easy. Well, it's I, the, isn't the deck already part of... Uh, oh, that's why. You're probably right. Let's see yeah. if that even works. I'll, I'll stop sharing here. Okay. Okay, so for those of you that are new, I prepare the grounds for a long time, and then she asked me to be her friend. All right. Well, you were farming. So then st that's like farming, John. That's what that's like. So I think if you come in here, so this is something that we met last week. So last night, uh, our group of all of our coaches and our top people decided we were wondering what's going to happen. We're deciding like, okay, do we do a live coaching every single day? And I don't know if people are going to, I know people are going to show up. To, they show up crazy amounts to this Tuesday one, but we're starting coaching every day. Uh, we've been procrastinating with it. And the reason why is because we weren't sure the outpour of people wanted to do it. And all of our real, all of our coaches yesterday say they did. So for those of you, this is your first call or for those of you that are here and maybe you need help. Maybe you need accountability. Maybe you need support. I'm going to ask you, which I asked the last couple of weeks. There you go. Shane, my man, putting it in there. So I'm going to ask you, like I asked the last couple of weeks, I just showed you, and for those of you that are new, I just showed you a clear-cut path on how to make $225,000 in your sleep, in your sleep. So I'm going to ask you, what is your brokerage doing for you? And that's a question I've asked the last three weeks. Uh, how many people show up today, John? It depends. The numbers are like three to 400 and they, they, they go down from there. So um, it starts off really high and then some people fade off, to be honest. I got an interesting question. Okay, so go ahead. You're asked the questions as I go through here. 
So I think the thing is, is that most of you truthfully, and I mean this genuinely, your brokerage does jack shit for you. Now, if they did everything and you needed something from them, or like if you needed them, would they be there? Sure. Right. We're here helping tons and tons and tons and tons of agents. I'm only going to share one video with you. This is Joel. Okay. I'm going to share one and I haven't shared in a couple of weeks because he was on last week. For all of you that are new, he's a brand new real estate agent. He's going to do 70 deals this year with our help, with my tutelage and everything. And you can do the same. So it's a quick video. I'll play this for Joel and then I'll come back. Hey, it's Joel Johnson here. I just wanted to um, touch on double your income coaching and my experience so far since I joined the coaching program. Um, I got my license back in April 2021, moved to a brand new city um, to be surrounded by Brad Vanderwall and Mark Verzile here. And, uh, you know, just touch on my experience. It's been absolutely amazing so far. I didn't know, know anybody when I moved here. Um, I interviewed multiple different brokerages multiple different teams and ultimately this was the absolute best fit for me um you know 10 months into real estate now i've done over 60 deals um helped multiple different people from all over canada buy properties here in calgary alberta and generated uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars in commission which is which has been absolutely fantastic so the systems that double your income coaching has in place are are absolutely invaluable the mentorship the support um i could not have found that anywhere else um it's, it's absolutely amazing. I'm, I'm never leaving and I'll never go anywhere else. So this is the place to be if you're a newer agent or even if you're an experienced agent, if you want to blow up your business. Um, you know, my initial goal was to do 20 deals and now I'm already over 60 and haven't even hit a year yet. So this is the place um, for the training, the support, the mentorship, the guidance, whatever you need, Double Your Income, double your income Coaching has it. And uh, I'm, I'm very grateful that I found them. So. Okay, so I think the bigger part, so Joel anyways talks about it. So I'm going to answer Yura's question. Uh, hold on, I'm going to go back and share this actually. Give me one second. We... There we go. Okay. So I'm going to ask you your question. So the truth is, Yura, be with like-minded people like ourselves. So we have a group chat. We have a Facebook group. So almost all of our agents that we coach and mentor are all solo agents. I have a big team myself, but a lot of them are solo agents. It says, what's the best way to collaborate and be useful to each other, increase everybody's income? Honestly, it's joining our coaching program and joining EXP, if I'm going to be honest. Again, the biggest thing that I get whenever I talk to people, and it's every almost every single day I talk to people, is what's your brokerage doing for you? So I took 52 minutes out of my day to show you a clear-cut path on how to add 30 deals a year to it. How many, and I'm I'm okay like asking all this stuff, how many people's brokerages have sat down with them to show them a clear cut pathway to add another $300,000 to the income? So there's hundreds of you on here, hundreds, not just two or three. How many brokerages have sat down with you like I did today to give you a clear cut path on how to add 30 to 40 deals? Okay, I wanna, I wanna see. And how many, how many people have not done it? So Kathleen said, not me, but how many people, seriously, how many of your brokerages, this is a fun game. I've done this the last two weeks. How many people's brokerages have given them a clear cut path to add $300,000? Not everybody at once. <laughs> Nobody? No, sir. Not mine. Not mine. Mine does. <laughs> yeah, Lisa, that's because you're with us and Kay is with us. So if you notice, the two people that said yes are the two people that are with us, just for the record. But again, not mine. Lisa said because she joined us finally. Again, not mine. Okay, guys, there's hundreds of you on here. One person. Somebody lie to me and humor me then that your brokerage is actually doing something for you. See, I've been to four or five brokerages in 14 years, never. Mason, his does. Well, there you go. That's If you notice, the trend is the people that keep saying yes are the people that are with us. There you go. Brent, there, that's his first. There you go. Mine does so much for us, not. Okay. 
This is my point. There's hundreds of you on this. Why in the fuck are you with your brokerage? Seriously, why are you with them? Most of you are there because you're scared. I'm going to be completely honest. And today's, today's purpose was to hit a couple people between the eyes and hopefully it makes a difference. Mine does now. Thanks, Brad. There you go. Never, not until I joined EXP. Now, I'm not, if you, EXP is the four, fourth brokerage I've been to. So there you go. Okay. So Maggie said mine. That's fine. So if you notice this, and I'm being serious, is what is your brokerage doing for you? What are they actually doing for you? And then why are you there? In 52 minutes, I showed you a roadmap. Imagine being able to dial into us for free. Everything is free. All you have to do is join EXP and switch brokerages. That's it. And most of you won't do it because you're scared, which I get. I understand change is scary. And because you're comfortable. So are you comfortable? And I'm just gonna be honest again, are you comfortable not obtaining your dreams? Are you comfortable not being able to take your kids to Disneyland or whatever you do because you're not selling enough homes? What doesn't that make you uncomfortable that most of you on here who haven't hit your sales goals can't afford to what you want to do every day of your life? What's more uncomfortable? Switching brokerages or being mediocre? Seriously, what's more uncomfortable? Switching brokerages or being mediocre for the rest of your life? That's up to you. We have the tools and why I get frustrated. And again, you guys caught me on a day where I literally went off the deep end to all of our coaches and everything is we can help so many fucking real estate agents make a shit ton of money. Most of you are too scared to make the change. Well, if it's not working now, nobody said one thing their brokerage did for them, except for the people that were with me and our group. Again, live coaching every day is starting now. We decided we've talked about it. It's been on the back burner, but all of our coaches said they were going to commit to the time to do it. So again, we get coaches all the time. Today, I just showed you a roadmap on how to make $300,000, a roadmap. They, and nobody said their brokerage does this. So look at this. I'm going to go right to our coaches. These are our coaches for you. Again, some of you are new and some of you have been on here a bunch. These are some of our coaches and these are going to be now our daily training, probably going to start at the end of April. Uh, cause I'm away from my honeymoon. So if you look at it, I'm doing, I do a lot of Q and A's. Um, the best part is for all of you newer agents that are on here, Joel and Hassan are top two agents on our team. They've each done 60 deals. They're going to be doing a live coaching every single day, every single day or sorry, every single week, every single week, Joel and Hassan are going to start coaching agents that are doing under 25 deals or have been in the industry for under three years to show them exactly how they did 65 deals. So they agreed to do this. So all that stuff is there for you. So I am going to put in here, hold on. Oh yeah, for those people again, I'm going to put it quickly, join me on YouTube. I'll put that in there one more time. And then I'm going to put by booking a call with us. Now, the last couple of weeks I've done this because a lot of people want to talk to me personally. Some probably don't, which is totally fine. But a lot of people want to talk to me personally. So I put in there to go in and book a call with me. Now, you have to be with EXP to get this. But again, I just asked all of you what the fuck your brokerage is doing for you and nobody said anything. Not one person. Hundreds of people on here. Right? Hundreds of people are on here and not one person said, my brokerage does this, this, and this for me unless they were with our group already. So again, pre-construction. I went over four or five topics. We have dozens of topics. So if some of the stuff today doesn't, doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. We have other stuff that we can teach you how to do. We have pre-construction. Mark Brazile's a beast. He's a coach on here. Listings from landlords that we talked about. We have that. Shane teaches lead gen and marketing. Levi is now a coach that's coming on. He's teaching YouTube domination. He made $1.1 million last year from YouTube. He has a course that's 4,000 bucks that everybody gets for free. Everybody gets for free when they join us. Christian, he made $150,000 from TikTok in three months. He now, has a, he now has a course. Stephanie, mental health coach, which is super important. Maddie teaches how to get buyer's agreements over Zoom. Walt is going to be teaching cold calling, time management, actually scripting. So a lot of people are asking for scripting. Walt is going to be doing every single week, if I'm not mistaken. At the same time, he's going to be going over scripts. So we're just upping our coaching game. The more we get asked to do stuff, the more we're going to be doing this. Robert teaches how to get free leads from Facebook. Uh, Paul teaches how to grow with partnerships. 
Gus teaches dominate your database. Steve teaches listing from retirement communities. Christian teaches how to use virtual uh, virtual admins. Then we also have a podcast coach. We have a commercial coach coming in. Look at this. We're going to have different coaches every single day of the week, Monday to Friday, to help you starting. Does your brokerage do that for you? Oh, and by the way, it's free. You don't have to pay these people. If you had to pay each coach individually, it would cost you $30,000, $40,000 a month. It's free. We're creating one of the largest coaching programs in the world for free. And that's it. And Shane just said that exactly. And it's not just teaching. They actually coach you, right? That's a big thing. On these calls, it's really hard to coach people because there's hundreds of you on here. So if you guys are interested in joining us at eXp, there's my direct cell phone number. And for those of you that aren't interested, I'm going to ask you, why not? Why aren't you interested? There's hundreds of you on here and not one person said what their brokerage does for them. So I'm still waiting for an answer from one of you. It's mostly your chicken shit to make a change. But if I can show you like today, I showed you a clear cut path on how to make $300,000, okay? $300,000 a year, a clear cut path. Now imagine having coaching for that every day. Every day coaching to hit your goal, right? Every single day you have coaching. Why aren't you with us? So I'm going to put it out there because today is like, today's you can tell I'm in a fantastic mood, but I'm asking people on here to be vulnerable. Why won't some of you join us with EXP? There's lots of you that have, and thank you for everybody that has. And we hope that we're helping all of you as much as you need, but why haven't you? Nobody said what their brokerage has done for them. So why are you staying? Are you staying because you're comfortable? And guess what? If you don't like it, you can always go back. I just joined a month ago. Fantastic. Oh my God. So old and fat. Oh my God. I can't believe my wife's with me. I'm fat and I have a terrible mustache. I got to lose weight. Yes, this is live and I don't give a shit. That's what I said. Okay. So again, looking for answers. Why won't people join us at EXP? Full like, I can, I can handle it. I'm a big boy. And then for the people that are with EXP with us, why are you here? So right now, normally at, the, normally about at the end, there's normally about 100 to 150 people left. So there's about 150 people left right now that are still on listening to my stupid bullshit talking. Now, here's the thing. There's 150 people on here. Why, what's wrong? Like, why, why wouldn't you switch brokerages? I can't, I got to get rid of it for this thing. I always said I would, I want to switch. I just hope I can actually get the training coaching you say I'll get. Heather, that's a big part of it. We're here. See, look at Brent. So Brent's on here right now. Brent, okay. Brent hated, hated EXP. Brent hated, hated EXP, hated it. He said it was Mickey Mouse bullshit. He's now turned into one of our biggest fans. Um, and I talk to Brent all the time. So you know what I mean? I get it. Um, Don loves a business model. Lisa loves it. And the coaching and the mentorship is what she wanted. Elena, I'm enjoying working for myself. Elena, you always work for yourself. You don't work for anybody. You're not on my team. You don't give me a split. You just have the training and support that you want is a big part of it, right? I heard from others that they want to have a physical broker. They can call anytime. Yura, that is the, thank you for mentioning that. That is the biggest mistake. Literally the biggest mistake that people don't understand, Yura, is you do have a brokerage. Nothing changes. You still have a broker. Like you have a broker that you can call anytime. Like I have five different brokers that I can call anytime I have a problem. So a lot of people think that with EXP, you don't have a, you don't have a physical broker. Of course you do. And then the, the thing is, it's like you have a physical broker. Even when I was with Remax for 10 years, I never sat down with my broker to ask them the question. I just called them. So that's, that's a big, big thing is, trust me, you have your, you have it. You have a coach or sorry, you have a broker that you can call anytime you want. And if you want, you can do it virtually on eXp world. I already XP. You don't have an office or a broker. See, these are all, this is all lies. This is what's fantastic about asking these questions. So look at Cassie. I came to eXp. I didn't have help, the help I needed. I've closed one transaction each month working part-time. 
again, I heard EXP, but you don't have an office or broker. John, that is not true. At EXP, you have an office if you want, because they're Regis offices, but you have a broker. This is like, it's just all such false information that people understand. But I get it because I was there. I fucking hated EXP. I thought it was stupid, um, but I don't anymore, obviously. It helps me. It allows me to help so many people. Heather, I just changed over a month ago. They do. There you go. See? Yeah, so it says, uh, Heather asks, I want to switch. I just hope I can actually get the training um, and coaching to say I will. So you can ask, uh, Heather, if you noticed, um, sorry, my phone's getting lit up right now. Some of you guys are texting me. So Heather, if you notice, um, Lisa said, yeah, I just changed over a month ago. They do. I have a private message. I tried EXP back in 2019. <laughs> Uh, Maggie, at least it's honest, but I'll call you Maggie. Trust me. I'll call you personally, Maggie. I'll, I'll see if uh, there's something we can do to help. So we do a lot of training. So we have actually Tyler's on here. So we had a new coach, Tyler, who's on here right now. He's going to teach you guys how to blow up business with investors. So that's, that's a good one too. Um, Lori, there's a stigma with, about EXP. I'm currently getting my broker's license, so EXP is going to fit into that. Yes, Lori, absolutely. I'm going to call you guys because some of you guys are too chicken shit to call me. Uh, my broker in charge is a few hours to me, but there's a broker under him uses less than an hour and super answering. See, there you go. Lisa said that. <laughs> So Paul just said, Brad, I've never waited more than three to five minutes to speak to my broker through EXP world. There's another one. All these are the BS miscommunication. So Brent, again, Brent hated EXP, hated it. So he called me. He's like, Vanderwall. He's like, I know you crush a lot of fucking houses. If you went to EXP, there's got to be something there. He's like, you're one of the few guys that I respect in the industry. And I said, man, I said, if people actually knew what EXP was, Everybody would be with it because there's so much support that we offer. Now, keep in mind, all this stuff you don't get if you go with a different EXP agent. So, like, we have tons of EXP agents that are on here that aren't in my downline that just come to get our support. So, it's with us that you get the support. Um, Monica asks, yeah, Brent says, just call me and I'll get it. It's true. How much does it cost for me to use Regis Office Space? Great question, Monica. It's absolutely free. Yeah, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, Heather asks a great question too. And this is the miss, This is the thing that people don't understand. Does recruiting or sponsoring have to be part of the business? 95% of people, Heather, do not recruit one person. Maybe 90. No, 90 or 95. There are only like 5% of people actually recruit. A lot of people think that EXP, you have to recruit. You don't have to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. It's very simple. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Oh yeah, Lisa, there, there'll be, a, there's going to be a, now the world's opening up. We're going to have a double your income coaching thing. Uh, I haven't decided yet. And it might be, it'll probably be next year. So Heather, you don't have to like, these are all misconceptions that people don't understand about EXP. I'll make it very simple. It's an 80, 20 split until 16 grand. Then cap. If you sell 30 homes, you get your money back in stock, approximately 30. Now it's different in different areas, but approximately 30 homes, you get it all back in stock. There's so many things. You're welcome, Elena. Hopefully, uh, hopefully everything is going good. <clears throat> yeah, it will be. Uh, it will be next year. So, again, guys, I'm going to put my cell phone number in here. A few of you have texted me already. Just call me about it. There's still a hundred of you on this call listening to this. Why in the fuck aren't you making the move? And I want you to ask yourself that: Is it because you're scared? Well, if you're mediocre right now, what do you have to lose? You literally have nothing to lose by joining us and everything to gain. Show me a brokerage or a team that has 20 different coaches that are going to teach 20 different topics every single day. Find one. Let me know who they are. Good luck. It does not exist on the planet. If you can't be successful with us, seriously, get the fuck out of the industry and do something else. You're probably the laziest person on the planet then.
If you can't be successful with everything that we're teaching you, that's not on us. We just keep getting bigger and bigger. Now, like Joel's coming in and coaching new agents every single week. Like, I don't know. I don't know why we're doing it. So um, some people are asking questions. So again, text me if you want to talk to me directly. So the number that I put on there is my actual cell phone number and you will get me. Again, follow me on YouTube. All right. You should get some female coaches too. Lori, we'd love female coaches. Truthfully, we haven't had anybody volunteer. That's the only reason why we don't. Uh, you know, I'd love somebody to coach, but what's it like to be female in, in the industry and, you know, security things, to be completely honest with you. We're only as, we're only as uh, big as we can be with the people that want to volunteer their time. And uh, truthfully, we haven't had, we haven't had very many people, uh, female that, that want to volunteer their time. That's the honest truth. That's the only reason why we don't. Yeah, like I'd love to. There's a shit ton of women that are working with us and I've asked some and truthfully, they don't want to. And that's okay. Like the best part about us is everybody here and all these coaches, they do it all for free. They literally give their time for free for everybody and they don't benefit in any way in most cases, except they're giving back. And that's the culture that I've created. So imagine being a part of a group or a culture that you get to be surrounded by a bunch of people that actually care about how you do it. It's huge. So again, I have my strategy call that's in there. Um, yeah, Lori, we got to step up, I guess. Yeah, you know, come coach. Somebody, I would love 15 more coaches, all of them to be women. I don't care. As long as you're great doing it, we just, we unfortunately just haven't had the opportunity or something that, that's wanted to. Uh, is the training in Dallas the same as what you do? Your coaching is... It's motivating. Lewis, yeah, so for sure, like the training is the same in Dallas. We actually have our coach. We have some coaches in Dallas, uh, Lewis. We have coaches that are in there that from their, again, these are the people that did from their YouTube channel. They did 1.1 million from YouTube alone, Lewis. So that is something that you definitely, 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 if you want them, you can meet them. They have a team. If you're thinking of joining a team, they have a, an abundance of leads. It's they're They're great. So there are options. No matter where you're at in the world, we can help you. We have people in England, Portugal, Mexico, Spain. Like we have people everywhere that we're helping grow their business. But I'm serious. Nobody's still giving me a reason why they wouldn't come over. There's 104 of you on here left right now. Not one person said why they wouldn't come over. So anyways, that's not for me. I'm not here to try to push people, you know, to come over here. It's, you want to, you have to want to come over here. But I do challenge you is you know, when you leave this call and if you're thinking about it, it's what the fuck did your brokerage do for you today? What did they do for you yesterday? Did your brokerage hop on for an hour and teach you what to do? Is your brokerage going to teach you every single day live, every single morning, a different topic to help you grow your business? If the answer is no. You really got to give your head a shake and put some consideration into this. So that's, uh, that's my rant for today. So I'll, um, they don't like my mustache. Okay. For those of you, that do not like my mustache, don't worry about it. It'll be gone next week. If that's why you're not joining us, that's huge. You're at extra expenses for replacing business cards and signs. That is a great, great point. Okay, Yura, I'm going to ask you this and, you know, humor me here. Is how much would it cost you to change your signs and get business cards? I'd say it's about maybe $1,000, maybe at most. If I can show you how to do another 20 deals a year. So let's say you have to invest $1,000, right? Let's think about this. You have to invest $1,000, okay? 1,000. And you get back, let's say I show you how to do 20 deals and your average commission is seven grand. You need to invest $1,000 to make back 140,000. Every single person on the planet would take that. If I said, you're, if I said, what I need you to do is invest in this stock. This stock, I need you to invest $1,000. But in a year, you're going to get back 140 grand. Every single person, every single person would come on and do that stock. And EXP gives you, that's true. EXP does give you 1,000 business cards for free. At least a girl goatee and stash, I can't. So you're exactly, like if it's 150 bucks, 
invest $150 in yourself so you can make a shit ton of money. Uh, Santos just says to everyone on the fence, just do it. I'm a new agent. I don't think it would have got this much support and accountability anywhere else. Mike, thank you for that feedback. I'm a mortgage lender. I do work with some EXP agents. Great brokerage. There you go. All right. Well, if you guys don't, yeah, I'm a new agent looking forward to joining EXP. Angela, we're happy to have you. Yeah, so this is what Brent says. And Brent, your broker didn't even do anything for you. But anyways, but like Brent said, your broker will forgive you when you leave. However, it'll be the hardest thing you've had to do. When I left my broker, I literally cried and bought him a $200 bottle of wine. I fucking hated leaving him, but it's the best thing I've ever done. For those of you that think that brand matters, I used to work for Remax Central, the number one Remax. I was the number one team at the number one Remax office in the whole world. Okay. I had to give that up for branding. I'm like, oh shit, how is it going to affect me? In 2020, when I left Remax, I did almost 300 deals. In 2021, I did 1,250. Tell me brand matters right now. Doesn't matter where you're at. And Remax sells 50% of our listings in Calgary. We're highly, highly, highly Remax. But it's they're going, their numbers are going way down because EXP is starting to crush them. All right, everybody. So that again, ask any questions you have about EXP. I have time. I'm in Ottawa right now getting ready to do uh getting ready to do a, a, a seminar tonight, but I got some time. So ask me, ask me any questions you guys have about EXP. There's still about 75 of you on here. So that's for my YouTube channel. Uh, I also have a place to book a call. Again, if you guys want to talk to me directly about any questions about EXP, this is my direct cell phone. That is my direct cell number. Just text me. I'm not going to fucking hard sell you on it. It's like, if you don't want to come, I don't give a shit. It doesn't change my life. I'm just trying to change other people's lives. That's the honest truth. So if you guys want to learn about EXP, go ahead, click there. I'll put another, uh, if you guys want to book a strategy call with some of our coaches, I'll put that in here too. Later, Don. You are in Calgary, but what about realtors uh, in Toronto? We have tons of realtors in Toronto we're helping. We're helping them with pre-con. We're actually coming. Um, thank you, Kathleen. Second time on the call. Keep coming back. Uh, so if you look at it, I knew that we're, um, we're actually coming to Toronto to do a live event in April 12th. So you guys will, a lot of you guys will get an email. We're coming for all the GTA realtors. We're going to tell them how to teach or do pre-con and teach a bunch of stuff. I know we have tons and tons and tons of agents in the GTA that we help grow their business. It's no different. It's the same principles anywhere around the world. Oh yeah, Heather, absolutely 100%. KV Core is fantastic. Like it's fantastic. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, KV Core is great. And then uh, as a CRM, you also get a website. So it's great. What do you want, Cron? If I need some graphics, it's kind of cross the world. Yeah, reach out to Nona Brent. Uh, Scott, great question. Already with EXP, is there a way to get access to your coaching? There will be in the next month or so. We're just going to create a program because there's a shit ton of people with EXP that keep asking to join us. Uh, we're going to create a program for that. So stay tuned, Scott. It's just not priority right now, but we will have something for people that are already with EXP. Yeah. Yeah, we, so the people that are in Toronto, uh, you'll be getting an email to be able to join our live event. So again, everybody, book a call with us. Find out about what you're doing. Ask yourself why you're not with us. Uh, it's a big part of it, right? You guys are here for a reason. Uh, Most of you are here because you're not getting what you need from your brokerage or it's part of your training that you're with our brokerage. So thanks, Angela. Appreciate it. So again, I'll post... Book a call with us, and then I'm going to run because I don't, there's not very many questions. Book a call with us um, is right there. If you guys want to talk to me directly about thinking about joining EXP or have direct questions about EXP, that's my direct cell phone number. 
I'm here to help anybody that's on here. So hopefully you guys got some value from today. And uh, hopefully we have a thousand people that, uh, that are thinking of joining our coaching program because we're helping people make a lot more money and changing their lives. So thanks everybody. Thanks Vicky. I'll wait here if there's any more, see if there's any more questions, but if not, we're going to power down here. Oh yeah. I know you can bring guests. Yeah. We'll, we'll have, we'll have everything. We'll send that out pretty quick. All right. No more questions. All right, everybody. Have a great Tuesday. Those of you. Okay. Wait, I'm going to stop sharing this. Hold on a second. Get a good look at this. This is gone next week. So enjoy this right now. Okay. Everybody enjoy this or not enjoy it, but it's gone next week. So we will, uh, we'll see you guys later. Shane, thanks for hopping on buddy. Uh, I don't know why I couldn't share it. So Thanks, Craig. We'll talk to you guys soon uh, and we'll see you next week. Later.